y'all it's your girl Brittany and I'm back with another video 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 make sure y'all like comment subscribe share all that y'all what I'm telling y'all I've been binge watching the fuck out of love island season six like it's ridiculous like I literally just started this season I want to say what's today Thursday I want to say I started it a week ago today and I'm already on movie night y'all so yeah I'm about to finish movie night at the pool because yeah it's hot as hell and yeah I'm just going to the pool so yeah I'm about to watch movie night at the pool and y'all tonight I'm ready for this new episode and tonight I'm gonna make a video about it and yeah we just gonna talk about it y'all Y'all better hope that whatever we do this little voting thing on this app that it's not asking to send somebody home because, ooh, I already know who I want to go home, oh, y'all. Yeah. When I am telling y'all I live for this show like I am enjoying this season so much it's ridiculous bruh like all I'm going to do every day is refresh Peacock to see if the new episode is on and watch it bruh maybe because I don't have a life which I don't and I don't care but bruh I live for this season but with that being said y'all I am finally caught up <laughs> and y'all what I'm telling y'all I'm gonna kind of like I'm gonna try not to ramble too much but y'all I have so many emotions thoughts everywhere like I went through all these emotions with all of them y'all like I kind of shed in a few tears for a couple of these people and y'all let me start by saying this and I don't care who does not agree with this who will get mad or blah 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 but y'all the biggest one one I'm not gonna say the biggest one of the biggest cornballs on this season to me is freaking Kendall bruh I cringe at Kendall like I was like, even though I enjoy the show so much, bro, I would skip every scene that he's in. Like, if it wasn't for Nicole, yeah, I would really skip every scene that he's in. It's like, I want to be happy for Nicole so bad. Like, the only reason why I somewhat tolerate him is because of the fact that he's with Nicole. Like, Nicole, I mean, not Nicole, like, because I like Nicole. I really like Nicole. And that's all I'm going to say about that. But Kendall is the biggest fucking loser, bruh. Like, he is just one of the girls he don't know if he want to be one of the guys or one of the girls it's like dude you can be cool with people but you want to instigate you want to stir the pot and offend that you want to console everybody you want to be looked at as the good person but behind the scenes whispering and stuff you want to be doing the most egging stuff on and blah 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 but when you get put on blast you don't like man look me is not a Kendall fan, bruh. Like, Kendall is just one of the biggest losers, bruh. And it's just like... Like I said, if it wasn't for Nicole... Two! One of the other biggest losers on this show for me is freaking Aaron. And this face that he does, the... Like, what is that, dude? Fix your face! Like, y'all, Aaron so bothers me and the reason why okay y'all like I said I'm fresh watching this like so you know like but y'all like I wanted to stand them at first you know I thought their relationship was cute but after the villa thing bruh the thing that he is not understanding is bruh you were literally wowing if you wanted to and the thing is if you wanted to test your connection go test your connection why how but don't be all up in Kayla's face like you just love her and you this you this you that but the minute you get to you know be free you want to <laughs> and then the thing is he's coming back he's not owning up to it he's do like bruh like Aaron is bothering me so much and then on top of that I don't know if Aaron want to be with Kayla or if Aaron want to be with Rob okay but it can either go 50-50, I'm not gonna lie, because yeah, Serena clocked his tea, because Kayla's sitting here and she's crying every 2.76 seconds over you, but the minute something happened to Rob, you want to speak for him, like, dude, uh, like, 
you not even chase you not even telling the truth to your girl and chasing after your girl this hard but every time rob do something y'all gotta uh, like y'all i'm sorry i do not want to see kayla and aaron back together like their relationship has become very annoying to me and honestly don't even want aaron to come back from this whole thing that he did i feel like and then it's like I'm not saying that he doesn't have sympathy for what he did. You know, people process things differently, etc., etc., etc. But it's just like, you know, when shit was hitting the fan on the couch and they were playing clips, everybody was kind of revealing that they had some type of guilt. Like Cordell was hurt watching his girl cry, but shit. It, but you got people like Miguel sitting here laughing at his clips. You got freaking Aaron sitting there with his stupid face, you know, and Kayla sitting in here crying and all that it's like Aaron's become very annoying to me him and Kayla's relationship became very annoying to me and what's killing me about their relationship is that she just keeps going back and the thing is I don't even he's not really even doing anything to prove that I don't even want to say that he's sorry like my thing is it just keeps getting worse and worse and worse and worse and worse because he's just not telling her the truth because of the fact at first we found out about a handshake we found out about a shower we now it's like you can't stand up for two minutes now it's just like this is the most fun i had and now it's the kiss in the shower and now it's this 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 it was just like yo whoa all i did was get a video and it was just it was just like it's just more and more and more and more it was just like dude you was really out here wowing like how you gonna in <laughs> and the fact that she like he really just showed his ass okay and the crazy thing about this is not like their relationship wasn't in the air not like they both weren't confused they both before they he went to casa it was clear that they were locked in so the fact that he went out there and started wowing in 0.5 seconds yeah it's weird like i don't even see why kayla want to fwh again like oh my gosh yeah i still don't want to see them back together and it's like I'm scared new information gonna come out and it's like Kayla is crying every 2.5 seconds Aaron has this stupid ass face on and it's just like it, it's just too much it's just too much I really wish y'all would have seen my face drop when I saw Cordell turn around that corner with Dia or Daya yo I'm sorry it's also a lot of people on this show so yeah so yeah, y'all, I wish y'all would have seen my mouth drop. My thing is, when it comes down to Cordell and Serena, like, I know that they were moving slow and that they were both open to testing connections and blah, blah, blah. But honestly, I really just didn't expect Cordell to wow out like that. Like, I feel like everything would have been all cool if it wasn't as extra, you know, if he just would have bought came back with somebody just to test a connection it's just like okay boom but then it's just like you bought daya back to test your connection then when daya get here you don't even you don't even f with her you chasing after serena the whole time so it's just like you really did you really just come to casa just to have some fun you know you were getting a little attention like was this just a little vacation for you for real for real and you just wanted to go back to your girl and then on serena's terms it's, it's just like yeah like you said all this to me i'm this i'm this i'm this and then you go over here what was this you just wanted to have a little bit of fun like i know we were open and we were both honest with each other but y'all it, it was just a lot y'all them breaking up like y'all it was just a lot but honestly how i feel about their relationship now that they're like i'm honestly not upset about the fact that they're back together like i really do feel like serena could have reassured him more within their relationship but then at the same time i really do feel like cordell was wowing in the casa but you know it seemed like they were able to come to some type of middle ground because the difference between cordell and serena and aaron and kayla is that aaron and kayla were making it seem like they were just closed off from each other serena was still open to explore she was making that known and cordell was too but 
you know Cordell like she said it was just he just moved hella disrespect I, I, I agree with that but then it's just like you come back you're holding hands and blah like it was just like <laughs> But now that they're back together, you know, I really hope that she can get him the reassurance that he needs and, you know, vice versa. And, yeah, they just grow from here, I guess. But, y'all, like, their relationship, I was going through the emotions with them, bro. Like, it was a lot. It was a lot. And, y'all, I'm honestly happy that Janae has found somebody that she could vibe with, a.k.a. Kenny. Because when it came down to Koi, Koi honestly thought just because that he was tall, dark, and handsome that he was going to be able to keep his girl. And then he ended up getting his girl took by Connor. Connor thought he can play in Janae's face and, you know, yeah... Which, which which he did but yeah i'm glad that didn't work out and then whoever she had next i can't even remember but yeah honestly oh and then hakeem and y'all honestly y'all hakeem was kind of you know to me you know like yeah like honestly when it came to hakeem i really thought hakeem was kind of weird i really thought hakeem was kind of doing too much and i really put hakeem in the same boat as kendall they were both uh, they were both losers corny weird male pick me's it was just like i just like they were it was just you could just see like i don't know well i honestly don't know if y'all feel this way but it, to me they just do too much and it's just like it just look like y'all doing too much for attention like we get it we see you guys on the show like you can relax <laughs> like hella animated turned up for no reason instigating shit doing the most and blah 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 but anyways i just i'm happy for janae you know and kenny's speech to her was real you know it was real sweet and i really hope their relationship progresses and goes somewhere because yeah janae has been taking like l after l after the show and yeah i really i really hope that kenny is genuine and that it really goes somewhere like because honestly i wasn't surprised that when he came back he had somebody because like him and janae were still really fresh he was he just got there like 12 seconds before and it's like even though they did have a good first date and that um they were vibing like i really do feel like it was still really really fresh and, and yeah i was surprised that you know she expected so much from him you know maybe i wasn't really paying attention to their conversation so much to see you know how deep they were getting yeah maybe i wasn't paying attention y'all no lie but yeah but i'm happy they are where they are now and you know hey if janae's happy i'm happy for her so yeah that's a lot of y'all one girl who was hella toxic to me is freaking leah like leah is somebody that just reminds me of someone that just likes drama that likes to go back and forth that likes to be heard that likes yelling like it just seems like leah has been in a lot of beat as it like it's crazy and then on top of that y'all her voice kind of annoys me but leah also has grown on me do i also do i still think she's messy yes but it seems like she's trying to have some growth you know after her conversation with you know gail and you know her conversation with rob and then you know her talking things out with Liv after everything you know they just saw it seems like you know she's at least trying okay and here's the thing <laughs> I kind of didn't like her at all at first but you know she's kind of growing on me she's kind of growing on me and honestly didn't like rob at first but rob he's kind of growing on me as well but my problem with but my thing is i just didn't like rob and leah together rob and leah together were toxic they were annoying they argued so much and then when um dang i can't remember what the blonde girl the first the girl that came in with nicole i can't remember her name but when she came in he was crazy all over her he was doing the most and she was about to leave and blah 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 like yo oh my gosh but yeah yo this show honestly threw me for a loop yo like who else is on this show oh my gosh like i'm missing people oh let me see miguel i honestly feel like miguel is probably on this show to turn up y'all like seriously 
like Miguel just seem like he just do not take shit serious but it does seem like he's kind of feeling Leah you know he's kind of giving her a second chance but y'all Miguel is honestly and yes this is probably me serial type of him like he just seemed like a rocking a walking red flag but yeah y'all dang who else is on this show like <sighs> This show has just thrown me for such a loop, y'all. Like, it has been so much. And the thing is, I've been watching it so much. It, And then it's like, y'all know the episodes come out every day. So I'm trying to catch up and everything. So it's like, please. I'm consistent with baddies because it's every Sunday. But please do not expect any type of consistency. with Because th this was a lot, okay? And... But y'all, I really do love this show though. Like, I'm really about to keep watching it. But yeah, y'all, just binge watch season six. And like I said, I'll, I usually be writing down, taking notes, and blah, blah, blah. But this is just every, like, this is really just me after watching this and jumping right on here and just thoughts in my head. Like, it's probably stuff that's gonna come and pop up, and I'm gonna be mad that I don't stand in here. But that's really my main thoughts about season six. Like, this shit is crazy. <laughs> it's a lot going on like movie night was literally 10 out of 10 like like i'm really just enjoying this season and i'm really enjoying love island way more than i enjoy like you know love is blind perfect match etc like i like it here i like it here but yeah y'all that's it like like i said it's just been a lot like it's probably so much that i haven't said but y'all I just had to hop on here real quick because this this show was just so much like I had to come on here and share my thoughts but yeah I better not I don't like Kendall I don't want to see Aaron and Kayla together I'm glad that Janae is happy you know I hope if Cordell can put his BS to a side you know I'm glad that him and um Serena were able to make up I really want Aaron to stop making his face and you know if him and Rob want to confess love to each other then now's the time to do it you know like and hopefully Kendall's yeah he, he just a messy queen like and he so gives me Drake vibes hey y'all <laughs> what's um Kenny why does he look like his name could be Diego like so if I come back on here and I be calling him Diego y'all that's just what I'm gonna be because that's what I have him documented in my head as but oh y'all what else oh but y'all i'm so upset that Liv is gone as well like i feel like she was good vibes in the house but damn i hate to see her go but yeah can't wait for tomorrow so i can keep so i can keep watching it again but y'all i'm tired i'm about to go to sleep and yeah I just had to come on here and say that. So yeah, y'all, good night. So yeah, in the meantime, just make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe, share. Don't, don't play with it. Don't be the size.